Hey everyone, I'm gonna listen to here and today we can continue all some more Crash Bandicoot the Rockwood Cortex, 106% and all platinum. The Crash Bandicoot, eh? Oh, I've heard so much about you, and this is the hero I have to blow away? Ha! <laughs> Seems like a bunch of hot air to me. Well screw you too then. Uh anyway, that's flow, and this is the fourth level. Well not fourth level, uh the fourth world of this mode. Anyway, I gotta say, this month was actually quite eventful for a lot of reasons, both good and bad. Uh, for one, the bad being, well, you guys should already know, and uh, good for like, for like Splatoon's update was finally coming to us. I mean, it's finally coming to us, it's not August 5th yet. August 6th if you're in some other country that's like in the time zone in Europe or something like that. Oh yeah, and on top of that there's also a Splatfest for the Americas, which is Hot Dog, which if I recall it's Marshmallow versus Hot Dog. And like, because of uh, camping and stuff like that, and no I don't mean Smash 4 camping, uh, I mean... Uh, that would be like an easy pick for me for going hot dog. Besides, uh, have you guys ever tried roasting a hot dog before? Mm, if you haven't, then uh, well. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You guys should have, if you have already seen it, and if you've already experienced it. Mm -mm -mm, gotta love that salt for the freaking meat, the extra meat costumes. I personally kind of like the meat costumes because they're like super detailed. Like they show that there's more effort put into them than like what you'd expect from like some meat costumes. So, but uh, uh, the salt comes from the fact that most people think that this deco uh, deconfirms some characters. Which, I could see why people would think that, but at the same time, it's like, possibilities, man. And keep in mind, this is soccer we're talking about. There was never, there's no such thing as like, you just know his master plan. Oh, but the real salt mainly comes from the fact that, uh, the turning mode was released. Now... Okay, for most of you that do play the game competitively, you'll understand right off the bat what's the problem with turning mode. Well, that and like lack of like bracket organization. I mean, the regular turnies did that just fine, but I finally managed to not hit that nitro. I mean, like the bracket did it fine. I mean, it look it looks fine. It looks like a formal turny like you see in like the past Smash games, but. It's mainly the fact that there's like so limited options and it's mainly set off of how Nintendo does their tourneys rather than how the competitive scene does it. Like most of the stock matches are only up to 3 minutes and the 1v1s are only set to Omega stages, you know, stuff like that. So and if you're not a fan of Omega stages, you might as well just try sticking to a real tourney. On top of that, there's like no team, there's like no team formed whatsoever. Granted, I could somewhat understand that because you have to rely on your teammate and people could be trolls and stuff like that. Mm, but there's like still some connection issues and stuff like that, so it's gonna be a while. Oh, yeah, customs. The best part about the freaking customs is the fact that it does allow uh, equipment enabled. So basically, if you turn on, if you like, have customs and like a custom set with equipment, uh, the game will pretty much allow that. There's nothing that's stopping you from using it. Unless you're like the kind of person that has like the pride for using it, but even then, it's just for regular tourneys. The only thing you're winning are just ma are the matches in tourneys and not like something big like, like you'd be able to go to Super Smash Kong, which is in like, I think a couple of weeks. Or anything like that. But in all honesty, I do like, but personally, I freaking love it because of the fact that, like, you can do, like, 1v1 for fun with stock and time stuff like that. And you can have legal stages and stuff like that as well. 
only real problem with that is the fact that you don't have the option to choose what you want. Oh god. So basically, if you don't like the, uh, some of the stages for like, say like tournament illegal stages, guess what? Uh, you're screwed because that's all you have. Well, not all you have, but like, probably the worst part about it, to be honest, is the fact that you can't even choose the DLC stages. Oh, I didn't make it. But yeah, the worst part about it is the fact that you can't even choose the DLC stages with it. Especially since they just released it as well. Alright, be careful not to spin the nitro. Okay. Oh yeah, the DLC stages themselves... I'm glad they stuck with the original design because of the, uh... Because it appeals more to the, uh, old-fashioned smashers, like 64. And, a lot, and like a crap ton of people are noticing like some of the texture updates. It doesn't feel like they just directly ported the stages to be honest. Granted, a lot of people will immediately compare it to uh, Project M. Considering the fact that that game has to be relevant somehow. But... There's really not much to the... To PMs considering it is just stage looks like the game is starting to turn more into something that how the game looks rather than how it's how it should play however I will say that PM definitely has a better way of introducing beginners into smash because like on top of that the smash 4 patches at least the recent ones or the most recent one pardon me Actually has a bit of a uh, questionable decision according to the scene. Now, I can understand there's one, the most questionable one I should say is the fact that Luigi got buffed. Like, personally, he needed it. I'm just gonna say it right now. He needed it. Like, if you've played like Japanese players and some like some of the actual good players of, that has played against Luigi. More than likely, it's always about his grab game that you talk that people talk about. But the fact that with these some of these players I've mentioned earlier, where they don't even like, oh, okay, you have a good grab game. Now I'm just gonna not let you grab me. That's practically an irrelevant decision, especially since there's like a a crap ton of pushback from Luigi, you know, because of that traction. I definitely felt like they could have. What is it? I'm not saying they should have buffed him a bit more, but I do feel like the buffing was for Luigi was definitely justified. Ugh. Okay, on top of that, there's also that that double jab they took out from Fox, like the double jab infinite. Yeah, I don't. A lot of people seem to assume that it's really just a. Uh, what is it? Just for the casuals because it feels like difficult for them to do and stuff like that? I don't really think so. Because, uh, I don't see what's so hard about just, uh... About pressing A twice and down. That, that's like we're playing a Sonic. I don't see what you need a guy just to do side B. But in all honesty... I just feel like it... The... Balancing could have been a bit better, especially for like, say, Samus, who definitely still needs it. But yeah, I just feel like this update was definitely one of the ones that brought a lot of people up to question on it. And do I think it's bad? No, the update was definitely not a bad one. I mean, a lot of people will argue that tourney mode was bad, but... Uh, tell me wh which one of them who says that it's bad are actually going to complain about the fact that... I mean, are not going to complain about the fact that it doesn't play like how actual attorneys nowadays are playing. Like, you know, two stocks, six minutes, Smashville, Town and City, FD, Battlefield, basically legal stages. But yeah, all this stuff, and I'm just sitting here waiting for a freaking... I'm just sitting here waiting for like a different... 
For like more stages pretty much. I'm definitely in a minority that feels like they want more stages rather than just more characters. I mean, don't get me wrong, the extensive amount of uh, stages we have now is freaking amazing. But you know, the worst part about it is the fact that there's pretty much a confirmation that there won't be that much more. So, I'm hoping that there will be like, big amounts of state, like, not big stages, but like, a huge amount of content for the stages within themselves. Even if to some people that would mean end up the stage being illegal. Did I actually hit anything? No. But in all seriousness, this update was a bit of a mixed bag with everyone. Now, oh, Splatoon's a- oh, oh, No, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I hate how this thing can't jump. Anyway, pretty much the biggest thing to everyone at the moment is the August update for Splatoon, which uh, according to this recording is in like the next three days. Yeah, three days. The hype is real, man. 2v2v2v2s, which is probably my uh, most looked out mode for me. Squad battles, privates. Uh, this is gonna be great. Alright, so enough about... Yeah, enough about like Smash and Splatoon and stuff like that. Now it's time to focus on this game. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's just focus more on this stuff. I'm pretty sure there's no draft in space. Anyway, probably one of the best things. It's probably... No. I'm not gonna act like control towards that. Like, probably one of the best things about the freaking... You smash is basically the YouTube update. But a lot of people will argue against that considering that... A. The highest resolution that it will get is 720... Uh, 720p 30fps. Yes, 30, not 60. And like, on top of that, the replays themselves have to be less than 3 minutes. You, it, the thing we escaped from Brawl. But in all seriousness, I do love that they're actually putting in some YouTube updates. I need it. oh yeah, speaking of which. The peeps that use, that use the YouTube update. Has there any form of content IDs that you get from it? I know there's like some specific music that you'll get like right off the bat. But, oh god. Oh my god. But like, do you guys get like some serious content ideas? Like, oh okay, you're not supposed to play this specific track, you're not supposed to play this specific track, you're not supposed to play this specific part of the track, stuff like that. Oh my god. For some reason you randomly die from touching a specific spot, I don't understand. Ah, uh, anyway. My main focus is like the replay the replay feature was nice. It def I definitely am glad that they decided to listen to like the community on that when it comes to like getting the replays and stuff like that. I'm wondering if Splatoon will do the same thing eventually. Like I I'm just guessing here. The only the only questionable thing is the fact that my TL is gonna be based not my TL, the well both that and my and my sub is gonna be literally nothing before glory. Uh, but on top of that, it just sucks. Like, the replay feature, it's great, but when it comes to, like, the application for it, the fact that you have to remember to save it, and, uh, on that, it's still limited. I don't know. Like, I felt like it, it could have been better. I mean, like, it's like a Mario Kart 8, uh, replay feature where you can record that straight I mean not record that upload that straight to YouTube that's a great one too but that one still has some issues with the uh, mm, content ID claims and most people usually debate that what's the point if you can't even uh, have the freedom to upload it oh god I'm about to die 
Oh yeah, there's this barrel remove that you can use, but it's mm, like it makes you invulnerable just like a crash. But it's nowhere near as useful. Unless you're shooting down a space station. Let's go. Last station. And I've only have like 28% of health. The AI pretty much move like they would in a uh, Crash 3, where like they circle around you, and then when they get aim right for you, it's like it's time. And I still got it. Take that. But yeah, basically, as I said before, Smash's update was definitely all over the place, especially with the salt of the Miiverse costumes. Miiverse costumes, me costumes. And speaking of Miiverse, I might as well uh. After this, I might as well check out Smash Miiverse, yeah, that you, you probably never heard of words like that, ever. But yeah, I'm gonna check one to the Miiverse stage and picking some, uh, rather specific characters and see if they still talk about, like, Krom, K. Rule, and, uh, <laughs> and Lloyd. <laughs> I'm freaking dead. I was about to be dead, too. Uh, in all seriousness, I definitely feel like... There's a, bit of, there's a bit of entitlement when it comes to people complaining about the me costumes. But, I mean, while some are justified, uh, it's... Oh no, I'm gonna get hit. You can't dodge this one for whatever reason. Anyone... Anyone. Anyway, I just feel like... While some complaints about the costumes were justified, such that they feel like they're not listening, at the same time, if you're not looking at the detail of the stages of the costumes, the fact that they put so much effort into making the costumes themselves, come on. Right, let me go up here and shoot these lines. I think that's the... no, that's not the inevitable one. I think that... no, this is the inevitable one. Okay. Now to focus off of Smash and Splatoon and stuff like that. I am quite fine, honestly. This month was definitely... I mean, for most people, this month was a bit uneventful. <sighs> ah! Oh my god, I gotta start way back here. This month was definitely a bit uneventful for a lot of people. But for me, it was definitely all over the place, you know, quite the opposite. Please tell me I'm hitting Mont. Please tell me I'm hitting the Nitros. Okay, I heard of an explosion. I think I hit it. Nope, not gonna make it. If you slow down for even a bit, you're not gonna make it. Alright, there we go. I guess that wasn't the inevitable mine. Like, there's literally a mine where it sets off way too early, and if you just hold right, you're still not gonna make it. <laughs> Crap! That's not the one, but that's just me not paying attention. Wait, did I literally just get a life and lost it? I think I did. Because, like, most of my, uh, offense mainly come from like school and stuff like that. Okay, I think I shot- I didn't even shoot one. <sighs> okay, that was just me being dumb. I got a bit scared because of that tentacle. But like, the school events and stuff like that were all over the place. So many places I had to visit because of the inconvenience in some of the times. Oh yeah, and uh... There's been some like a lot of things going on about... Let's see... Five, uh, apparently Five Nights at Freddy's, but uh... Like, not, to not really talking about the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 itself, but rather like some theories and stuff like that. Yeah, most of you should know what I'm talking about. But like, I'm not gonna go into detail about that. Okay, there's that little... Oh, you... Oh, so there's a top level right here that I can't go past. Well... That's fair to know that mines can drop on you. 
Like, how close do you have to be for it to set off? Oh. I tried going for the extra life. Okay. Where is it? Let me go all the way up here. This is the mine I was talking about earlier. No matter how far you go, no matter how fast you go, that thing will always hit you. Or at least in the GameCube version, it always does. I really should have came back to this game a bit earlier. Because, like, I probably would have been finished with the fifth world by now. I get wrecked. Oh yeah, I think for time trial these turns and these uh, turn into uh, freaking time trial boxes. Oh yeah, it. Oh yeah, I've checked. Uh, apparently, there hasn't been any patches for uh, this game yet. Like. Any fan made revisions for this game, like visual effects and stuff like that. And you know, considering that like 20XX for Melee is a thing, I don't really see how most people are, are, were arguing about the fact that there wasn't going to be anything because it's a, a GameCube title. Oh yeah, uh, more than, what I mean by uh, 20XX, I mean like the uh, Tournament Edition. Am I gonna be? I'm not sure if we're gonna be seeing 20 XX anytime soon, like in actual tourneys. Okay. That was close. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. Where like this is the most useful part of this ability. Like, you're pretty much just hearing me, uh, spam A and B. Alright. I think there's another mine. Yep, let that one drop. Alright, so I hear the, uh... The warp to get out of here. I definitely feel like there could have been more for the games I talked about earlier than what they were, but I'm just hoping that the uh, two Animal Crossing games are going to be awesome. Because, from what I've been hearing, there's been reports about uh, Amiibo Festival that will end up having online play already better than Mario Party. Not used to the weather here, I win. Oh yeah, when I mentioned like uh, it's better than Mario Party. I'm saying, like, that's how most people's reactions were towards Amiibo Festival. Like, they hated it when it got showed off in the digital event. But then when, um, then when, but then when the, uh, online was reported, it's like, oh man, this game's already gonna be hype. Uh, like, shaking my head. Like, I'm pretty sure you're still gonna need an Amiibo just to, uh, play the game to begin with. So like, it's like, what's the point, honestly? I want. I'm just wondering how the online was going is going to work. All right. Cause like, from what I understand about the amiibo, like if the amiibo would be could work online, then I know a lot of people are going to be talking about how this is not allowed in Smash. I can already hear it. But if for some reason you don't require an amiibo, well, then a lot of people would just complain about the fact that uh that this is how it should have been from the start and crap like that. But in all seriousness, if the game does have online, that'd be kind of hype. Cause like, uh, part of, probably the first, I could be wrong, probably the first 
party game, not counting Smash because I'm talking about like the uh, boar type uh, party games to have an actual online feature. I'm pretty sure there's like some obscure Wii U title that has something like this, but we just haven't found it yet. Oh, that was early. Alright, don't activate that. I think the rest are nitro. I'm hoping the rest are nitro. Yeah, the rest are nitro. Good. Basically, all over this the, this whole summer was all over the place. I'm not saying it's over yet. Well, I mean, for most people, it's already over, but for me, I still got a good couple of weeks left. Oh, that was too close. <laughs> Alright, so after all that, towards the game itself, uh, like I said before, I should have already progressed through like the fifth world. Well, I mean, most people call it fifth warp, but you guys know what I mean when I say that. Wait, I remember there used to be an Aku mask over here. I'm guessing that's for a... Uh... What is it? That's later. Oh yeah, I just remembered. Uh, I think sometime later this week, there's going to be an update for Apple Media drivers for Windows 10. Which I actually am using right now. Which is going to be great, because hopefully they'll be able to fix some things around with it. As well as a... Uh, uh, give us that Rec Central 2. I mean, I'm just saying. Because, like, currently. Because currently, only the uh, newest Aphromedia card has that. This mode, I, this mode, I keep saying mode, uh, Blair and Splatoon. Uh, this freaking boss is literally just hold A to win. And also, this is probably the only other time you see a uh, crash in this vehicle. Oops, thought to a head. I mean, the sound will get annoying, so I apologize, but there's really no reason for me not to hold A. Unless you want to hear the music, but... Like, even then, you just want to... You might as well just check out YouTube. Okay. Ah, oh, I rolled the wrong way. Okay. This will be a bit of a long fight, despite the amount of uh, same patterns and stuff like that, because his health goes down very slowly when you hit when you hit him. Okay. Basically, oh, I should tell you how to fight the boss even though you can pretty much just see it. Whenever Flo is circling around Crunch, he's going to start signaling an attack. When Aku circles around Crunch, that's your key to attack, pretty much, because that's his vulnerability spot for some reason. Oh yeah, this thing will do major damage if you just stand in one spot. And for some reason, he's already flashing. Alright, we're pretty much just about to wrap it up. Like, jeez. Alright. 
Alright. We're about done. What? Oh, okay. I guess he's allowed to just change it up like that. I mean, he's dead anyway, so. New ability, Fruit Bazooka. To fire fruit at a target, hold the L button and raise the gun. Aim with the control pad or control stick and press X to fire. Or I think it's X, or maybe actually be B. Because, like, the game does not really feel like it was optimized that well in terms of, like, telling you what to do. And the worst part about it, let's see, can I go to a level and test it out? Well, yep, yes I can, I'm gonna try it. Okay, so L? Yeah, it's L and X, not L and B. All right, now we got that test. I think this, I don't think, I think this time there's no cutscene. Yeah, it just ends right here. Anyway, and the next part, we'll take care of the fifth and not final warp of this game. Because like Tornado 64, so I don't think that's for watching. It's actually time.